Hi everyone and welcome to Miss Estric Biology and in this video I'm going to be talking you through how to revise in the most effective way and I'm going to be applying it to proteins. So if you do happen to have a test coming up for proteins this will be perfect for you and even if you don't copy these strategies for whatever test you do have coming. So let me share with you the best tips to help you go from a C and a D up to an A in your next test. So let's have a look at the plan of how we're gonna make that level of progress. The key part to your plan is consistency and active recall. Those two things are essential to make progress. And unfortunately, there isn't any quick overnight fix that is going to transform your grades by two, three grades with ease. And I know there's probably gonna be at least one person that puts in the comments now that they know someone or they managed to get an A star when they were on a D and they only revised the night before. There's always one that says that. However, that is the exception, not the rule. For most people, that is not going to happen. And instead, you have to follow this plan. So it said it's active recall and consistency, but I'm gonna pick up three key active recall strategies that I think will really help you to transform your grade up to at least an A. And that is my maps, active recall workbook, and exam questions. And it's gonna be key, the proportion of these you do as well. And we'll come back to that at the end. Now I'm focusing on these three. However, there are of course other strategies that you could do. For example, you probably know I'm normally banging on about how much I love flashcards, which are awesome. And you can get your hands on my flashcards if you want to have a go at those. But today we're focusing on these three, mind maps, active recall workbook, and exam questions. So let's start with those mind maps. So why mind maps? Let me break down how these could be your ticket towards getting an A stroke A star in your exams. First of all, they contain lots of engaging visuals and your brain loves visuals to help keep your attention. So with your mind maps, by creating a mind map for proteins, because we're talking about proteins today, if you had diagrams that represented your primary, secondary, tertiary, quaternary structure with your definitions, you can then make connections to show the relevance of those. So you can make connections to the concepts of condensation reactions, hydrolysis reactions, or even the exact sequence of amino acids that is what determines the unique 3D shape. Then you can link that unique 3D shape to enzymes and you could go on and on and on. Now, I've actually got here the mind map that I created for proteins to show you an example of how it could all link together to really help you improve your long-term memory and understanding of this topic. And if you wanna save yourself time and not make your own mind map, I've linked it below so you can get hold of a copy. So not only is it visual, so it helps to keep you focused and engaged, it's another example of active recall because testing yourself, do you understand and remember all of the key terms and concepts? And not only that, can you make connections between them to show how they link? It's a really powerful way to test your memory and improve your understanding. And if you can improve your understanding, you're gonna get much more marks on the application questions. The final reason I love mind maps is it's a great way to have a summary, almost like a bird's eye view of everything you need to know for that topic on one page. So it's a really quick, effective go-to cheat sheet to look at if you need help when you're answering some exam questions for practice. Next then is the Active Recall Workbook. Now this is something that I created specifically based on lots of research that I did on neuroscience, including a research project I did for my masters and for the University of Cambridge, where I was looking at how we learn most effectively. And the key thing is Active Recall, and there's five different techniques that work really well, and it's a mixture of five of those that work the most effectively. And that's what I use to create my Active Recall Workbook. So here's a section on proteins. And what I'd recommend is you would print this out and have a go after each lesson when you learn the topic, but also now that you're coming to revise proteins, go through all of this without using your notes first of all, see how you do, the answers are in another booklet that you get hold of as well, and you can then mark your answer. Now, repetition is key. And because this is a digital product, you can print it out and redo it as many times as you want. So I'd recommend filling in in a bright colored pen everything you missed off, a bit like you're doing blurting, and then have a go at one page that you didn't do very well on, or maybe the whole section on proteins again in a couple of days time and check do you now remember more of the key terms, more of those key answers? And that's probably the most effective way to use the Active Recall Workbook in the lead up to your exams. 
And then number three is completing exam questions. Now I have exam questions available for free on my website, organized by topics. So head over there, download the assessment bundle, which is based by topics, go to topic one, and you can find the protein questions within that. Answering those protein questions in the lead up to this exam that you're revising for is a great way to check Number one, can you remember all of the key marking points? And then number two, do you understand it well enough that you can now apply it to the challenging application questions? I'd say have a go in timed conditions as well, at least once, and give yourself 1.3 minutes per mark. That is what you get in the actual exam. And then when you come to mark it, be really harsh because the mark scheme is so specific, so you may as well learn how specific it is now and put that information into your long-term memory. So essentially, active recall is key, and all of those three strategies are active recall. Think of it as basically like a workout for your brain. Every time your brain is going to that active recall gym, revising this information and actively having to think and test it, you are strengthening the neural pathways between your neurons for this information and therefore putting it into your long-term memory. So have a go at those strategies for revising proteins, which is such a fundamental topic for all of the A-level. And hopefully you'll see your grade improve from the C's and the D's up to A's and A-stars. And if you do want to kickstart having a little bit of a recap on proteins for now, then check out this video here, which is all about proteins.